Name Hero promises up to 20 times faster websites for quite affordable prices, marketing themselves as a much better solution than Bluehost, Hostinger, Dreamhost, or other popular providers for the around same price range. So questions, are their claims real? Possibly, are they fast? Apparently, what plans are the best? What makes them different? And are they any good? Let's actually find out. First things first. I need to know what would make me choose Name Hero over other cheaper options on the market. So currently, even their cheapest plan is using the RAID Shadow Legends. No, I mean RAID 10. RAID 10 SSD configuration, not Shadow Legends. To understand this, let me explain you how RAID works. Your website is basically data and web hosting is a hard drive. When you're creating your site, you're writing data into a hard drive. When the user is accessing it, he's reading data of the server's hard drive. The faster the drive, the faster the site. But if the drive fails, more data is lost and your website is offline and gone forever. Not ideal. So web hosting providers started using the RAID 1 configuration using two hard drives, each with identical information. If one of them gets exploded by an interdimensional watermelon attack, your website is still up. This is safe, but it's not fast. The opposite of RAID 1 would be RAID 0, where instead of cloning information on another drive, you split it between the two drives, making reading speeds a lot faster, but doubling the chance of failure. This isn't safe, but it's fast. What Name Hero does is they use both methods together, hence called RAID 10. This is both safe and fast, but it's expensive for them, because at minimum they need four drives instead of just one in the same exact situation. But somehow they don't transfer that cost to you as a customer because their cheapest plan is just $3.40 if you use the link in the description to get a discount. Or so it seems at first, because actually their pricing is a little bit misleading and they're way more expensive than you might think at first. I'll talk more about that later in the video. But for now, this RAID 10 configuration is why Name Hero is superior to others in the same price point. But while all of this sounds really nice on paper, is there any actual real-life difference? First up is the loading speed test. I've actually created identical websites on Name Hero $3.40 and Hostinger's $2.69 plans. Hostinger fully loaded in 2.3 seconds, Name Hero in 2.1 seconds. I've also tested it against some of the slowest and fastest competitors in the same price range. Slower providers like Bluehost came in at 4.9 seconds, costing $2.8. However, Name Hero's performance still isn't as good as some of the fastest providers like A2 Hosting, which loaded in 1.7 seconds with their $2.99 unmanaged VPS plan. <sighs> okay, <laughs> that was a lot of numbers. Let's break it all down. Would I be disappointed if I bought the Name Hero's $3.40 plan? Absolutely not. The performance is definitely on the higher end of the scale, and if you want to do the same tests yourself, actually visit uptime.emitreviews.com, where you'll be able to see every single web hosting provider I currently have and run your own tests, as well as see how often these providers go down. But performance is only one part of a healthy web hosting diet. I've actually found two pretty big lies that Name Hero tells on their website to make themselves look better than they actually are. But before I go into detail about that, I also want to talk about something they actually do really good, their control panel. After your purchase, you'll see something like this. It's a clean and easy enough to navigate interface. If you want to create a website, no problems. Simply click on your plan, log into cPanel, and click on this WordPress manager button. Here, you'll be able to install a WordPress instance on your website completely automatically. After that, you'll be able to log into your WordPress instance and work on your site's content and design absolutely no problem. It couldn't be any easier for a beginner. Now, what are the big two spooky lies that Name Hero is telling on their website? One, they call their plans cloud hosting. It's not, it's shared hosting with some extra steps. And two, they call their plans scalable. Again, they're not. What do I mean saying they're not cloud hosting? Well, cloud hosting implies that the users have almost limitless access to resources because they're being pooled from multiple servers, allowing you to add more or fewer resources at any given point, keeping your plans quite flexible, actually. In reality, what Name Hero is doing is using Cloud Linux to create virtual compartments in a single server. So instead of the traditional shared hosting mess, 
where everyone is fighting for resources in a huge pit, they're creating compartments with limited resources dedicated to each user. This is like a eh, half-baked solution. Why is it not cloud hosting and why is it not scalable? Well, because you're never able to scale your resources up or down on demand. For that, you would need to switch plans so Name Hero plans aren't scalable, they're upgradable. True cloud hosting plans like Scala Hosting allow you to scale your resources at will, so if you're expecting a big influx of users, you can use additional resources for like a day or two and then just go back to normal. So I imagine they're using these terms as the blanket of buzzwords to attract additional users and seem more sophisticated than they actually are. Of course, this doesn't affect their services, which still are really good shared hosting, but it's not cloud hosting. Now, if you do decide to go with Name Hero, and again, they're not a bad choice, even though they're a little bit deceitful, which plan should you buy? Well, in my opinion, the Plus Cloud is the best value for money. It allows you to create up to seven websites and gives you two gigabytes of RAM, which generally will allow you to host around 200 users on your website at the same time, which translates to tens of thousands of users each month. But if you plan to create only one site, it's actually a no-brainer. Starter Cloud is what you should choose. Now, what about their Turbo and Business Plans? In my opinion, they're not a good deal. Yes, you do get NVMe storage, which is currently the best and fastest option on the market, but you'll be paying way too much for it. Because the prices you see here, they're special promo prices. You only get this price on your first purchase, when it's time to renew the price, skyrockets. Here are the averaged prices for each plan if you buy for one year and then renew it for one more year. I mean, if you have a website that needs $30 a month hosting, that means you're getting some serious traffic and you shouldn't be using providers like this. You should be using a dedicated VPS or actual cloud hosting. Okay, so what's my verdict? Well, in my opinion, Name Hero is really good. It's just really, really, really expensive to renew. I would never in my entire life pay full price for their renewals. Like even the cheapest plan goes from $3 to $11, which is more than three times an increase. So I would buy a plan on sale for two or three years in advance, and I would consider switching once that plan is over, I would never renew my plans. If you're okay with this switch strategy, you will definitely find a good home at Name Hero. But if you're looking for a more permanent solution and you don't want to switch ever, I suggest looking into Hostinger as a cheap option and Scala Hosting as a more powerful option. These two providers probably do what Name Hero does just a little bit better and cheaper.